Okay, uh, this is Brett Greer. I was uh, asked to make a video for our OmniBlock Estimator tool. Um, it is a spreadsheet that helps you estimate for the amount of block and foam insulation inserts that you're going to need using the OmniBlock product. It also will estimate for uh, standard CMU. Um, so if you got a project that's got a mixture of OmniBlock and standard CMU or 8 inch or 4 inch, um, it'll, it will also estimate for those as well. You can see here a regular 8 inch CMU and a, a 4 inch CMU. Um, so this spreadsheet is a good tool for uh, anybody in uh, building material sales uh, for block. It is done on block module, so all the numbers that are entered in, um, that are pre uh, drop down boxes here, they're all block module. So they're even foot, even foot eight inches, odd foot four inches. Even foot, even foot eight inches, odd foot four inches. Um, you may or may not know that, but that is block module. Any even number, so eight, four, six, twelve, what, any even number, or an even number plus eight inches will give you an even number of block in a, in a length or height, either way. Same thing with odd foot four inches will give you an uh, even number of block total. So if you have a wall that's eight foot, you can drop it down to seven foot four inches or you can increase it to eight foot eight inches. Um, but any of those three, uh, uh, any of those three dimensions will give you an, a, a block module for uh, projects. Anyway. So the spreadsheet is based on all those numbers. Um, we'll just go ahead and get right to it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I've got a set of plans here for an addition on a building. It's a three wall addition to an existing building that's back here. Um, it's got your windows and door openings that's shown on these plans. These are shop drawings, obviously, um, of the building. Uh, sometimes you don't get so lucky. Sometimes they just give you a floor plan with detail uh, of what the wall heights are. but if they you are lucky to get this uh, that's fantastic because uh, it makes it a lot faster uh, so starting out we're gonna identify number of omniblock wall heights so we'll go back to the plan and we notice that it's all the same height all the way around and it's eight foot tall so your wall height there's only one of them so we're gonna first we'll reset the form here sorry So number of omni-block wall heights right here, you're gonna put one. Number of eight inch CMU wall heights. Well, this whole project is gonna be omni-block. It's all insulated. It's an addition to an existing building. It's all gonna be insulated. So there's not gonna be any eight inch CMU wall heights. Uh, number of four inch CMU wall heights, there's not gonna be any of those either. So we're not gonna put anything there. So we're gonna drop down to the next. Your wall height, it's like I said on that plan shows it's eight foot tall so you're gonna go back here you're gonna drop in eight foot tall top of wall bond beam yes or no yes there's a wall bond beam there next one is it asks for the wall length so you go back to the plan it's 20 foot wide 30 foot long and that side is 30 foot as well. And you can verify that on this other one. Yeah, 30 foot. So 30 and 30 is 60, plus 20 is 80. So our total wall length right here would be 80 foot. Number of corners. You got a corner right here. You got a corner right there. And then here, this is an addition to an existing building. So you got half of a corner here and half of a corner there so these two ends make a whole corner so you got one two and then those two together make three corners you go back here punch in a three total number of windows and doors you got a door here window here window here window here window here window here and door here so that's a total of seven one two three four five six seven uh, let's go back here punch in a seven as soon as you get done with that, you finish it all your describing the, the wall so that it gives the spreadsheet the information it needs to calculate. You're going to go straight over here to your windows and doors 
and you're going to break out these seven windows and doors into the quantities of each kind. So if you go back to the plan, you see that you got a walkthrough door here. That's three foot four. Uh, it's a it's a three foot four by six foot eight uh, door opening. You see there, three foot four by six foot eight. So these two door openings here and here are identical. So we're going to go back here. We're going to say we got two door openings that are three foot four, which is on the spreadsheet 3.33 by six foot eight, which is 6.67. So we got two doors that are three foot four by six foot eight wide. And what it does, it's figuring the total square footage of that door to take out uh, that amount of block. Go down to your next quantity. Um, we've got two windows over here that are identical, or at least they look identical. So let's verify. Yeah, they're both three foot four, three foot four by four foot tall. So we got two of those that are three foot four. by four foot tall. Now we got a window here that's five foot four by two foot eight. I don't think that other one's identical. Uh, no, that one's six foot eight. So we're gonna go back. Um, like I said, this one's five foot four by two foot eight. So we'll go one of those at five foot four and two foot eight we have one other window which was this one that was six foot eight by two foot eight so this one's six foot eight wide by two foot eight tall now we had a total of seven so we're still missing one window Need to go back, and it's this one right here, two foot by four foot. So we got one window that's two foot wide and four foot tall. Now you've got all of your windows broke out because it shows right here total windows seven, and then you've got a total of seven broke out here. That gives it the total square footage of the windows and doors down here. Shows 111.10. Um, so that's the amount of uh, square footage that you're going to be subtracting worth of block out of this project. Now if you go down here, your pricing, this is for moving on to uh, adjusting some numbers for block. Your pricing is right here. So... Um, You'll put in whatever at whatever you're going to be selling the block at uh, for the stretchers and the corner block, and then whatever you you sell your halves or your CMU for standard CMU or your bond beam CMU or your four inch CMU, any of that you just put in pricing. I've got the same number for all just for numbers purposes for this particular demonstration. But if you were going to sell the stretchers, let's say for dollar uh, seventy five you could put a dollar seventy five in there and you're gonna sell the corners for a dollar eighty you can put a dollar eighty in there whatever you whatever your pricing is you'll you'll enter that in there your foam inserts same thing let's say you're gonna sell the foam inserts the short insert for a dollar five and the long insert for a dollar fifteen so you'll put your pricing in there and that's your foam insulation that goes for the omni block if you're using the spreadsheet to quote for standard CMU you won't put anything in there um, Anyway, that's your pricing on this side. So here I've just got $1.60 entered in all these um, for the block portion, uh, just for ease of number purposes. Um, but if you'll take a look over here, it starts giving you all your totals and as well as your costs based on whatever pricing you put in here. So it requires four pallets, but that's going to only leave you with five extra block. If this is going to be a split face, uh, and this is for your stretchers, Omni Block. If this is going to be a split face project, you want more than five extra block on that project. I would say at least maybe 10 or 15 extra. Um, so what you can do is you can add, let's say, an, add a number of pallets. Well, you don't want a full pallet. You just need a portion of a pallet. So let's say you're trying to add another 10 block. Let's just do add 0.1. Let's 
So that gives you an extra 14 block for four pallet books. If you figure three blocks per pallet breakage times four pallets, that's 12 extra blocks that you're going to have breakage. So uh, 14 would be maybe a good number, maybe not, just depending on what you're... Uh, what you're comfortable with or what you, what your architect or, or, or mason is comfortable with. Um, I would say on specialty block you want that number to be a little higher. But this is the plus or minus pallets column here where you can adjust for each type. So um, stretchers, I just did it. Corners, it shows we got 23 extra corners. Maybe that's too many, maybe not. If you wanted to adjust it, you could do minus 0.1 and that drops it down to 14 extra block. So. You can make adjustments to each one of your, your uh, types of block here. Halves, you got an extra 133 halves. That's a lot. So I'd say minus 0.7. It brings you down to seven extra halves. That's a decent number. Uh, bond beam, you've got 30 extra bond beam. Let's do a minus 0.15. That brings you down to 17 extra bond beam. Maybe you want to go a little less. Do minus 0.2. That brings you down to 12. Okay, that might be good. So you leave that like that. Um, as you're adjusting these, it's adjusting the quantities as well as multiplying it by the price to give you your total. So these total numbers, these are running totals, so they will move as you move stuff in this spreadsheet. Uh, a really handy tool to keep up with uh, what you're you know, estimating. Um, you move on down here to the insert, same thing. You've got an adjustment column here, plus or minus number of bags that you need. So here, you only have 35 extra pieces. This is not bags, this is pieces. They come in uh, 100 count bags. So if you got six required bags right here, that means you're gonna have a total of 600 pieces at $1.05 a piece for the short front inserts. So, it's leaving you with 35 extra pieces of foam, that's fine. I would rather have 100 extra pieces or 80 extra pieces um, than to be short by just one on a job. Uh, so, this number, okay, that's fine. They got a third of a bag left over. Maybe you send them one extra bag just to make sure. Um, they do not sell partial bags with the foam, though. So uh, we, we, we don't ship partial bags, put it that way, with uh, foam. It's a full bag. So if they're short by one insert, they're going to get a whole other bag for that one insert, um, regardless. It's just how it is. Um, but this long inserts here, same thing. They've got 66 extra, that's probably enough, but if you wanted to add one, you could add one. If you wanted to subtract one, you could do minus one bag. But see, minus one bag, is uh, that's way too much. You've only got 34 left over, so. I'll just leave a zero in there. That leaves it at 66 extra pieces of foam. What it does, it takes all of these, the, the pricing, multiplies it by your numbers that were figured by your total square footage minus the windows and doors and it drops you out a total number or figure for uh, total block and inserts. It also will figure for freight. If you want to use this portion you can, if you don't, you don't have to. Either way. Um, the freight is here. You would enter in how much the freight costs per truckload. Let's say it's 600 bucks per truckload and let's say the foam freight you wanted to add another 100 and, uh, 150 for the uh, foam freight and you can say well we're going to have three shipments and we're going to have two shipments on the phone which is not but either way you can use this to uh, estimate for your freight as well same thing here if pallet charge if you have a pallet charge let's say it's ten dollars a pallet and a shrink wrap fee of five dollars then you can um, put this in here and add how many, you know, uh, it, it'll account for you how many uh, pallets they need to charge the $10 fee for for a pallet charge. Other than that, the last thing this thing has is a quick estimate. This is a really good feature for just a quick, off the cuff, hey, how many block do you think I'll need? Or how much is it actually, is it gonna cost uh, to do this project? And somebody says, you know, I got 100 by 50 building or whatever and the wall height is is 10 foot tall well you can do wall height 10 foot and the building was 100 by 50 so that's 100 on one side 100 on the other is 200 plus 50 and 50 is uh 300 so you got a total lineal feet of 300 feet 
price per square foot, let's say it's going to be a split face block um, that's colored, and it's going to be around six fifty a block with block and foam, uh, or six fifty a wallboard foot. Uh, then you for material only. Then you've got a nineteen thousand five hundred dollar wall for material, and that's just for the block and the foam and the uh, delivery. And less egress here is uh, for openings, uh, say fifteen percent roughly on openings. This is like I said. This is just a quick estimate to give somebody, and then it'll also tell you your net block twenty eight hundred and sixty five block approximately. Um, so anyway, this spreadsheet really handy tool to use. Um, if you got any questions about it, feel free to give me a call. My contact info is right here. Uh, Brett Greer, B Greer at Omniblock.com, 817-357-7347. Anybody got any questions, feel free to give me a call. Appreciate it.